Hi everyone, it's Mio and today I'm going to do a Perler Bee tutorial. I'm going to show you how to make this adorable milk carton. If you don't know what Perler Beads is, it's a really easy and fun way to create the most adorable crafts and I personally made this into a nice little brooch that I stuck on my backpack. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. For more like these, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and let's get this tutorial started. So the first thing you'll need is perler beads. I bought a very large box of perler beads at Hobby Lobby with over 11,000 pieces. You can get this for about $6 if you have a 40% off coupon or cheaper. They come in all sorts of colors and arrangements so you can really make anything. And there are a lot of resources online to show you how to make this milk carton. I'm going to use a clear pegboard to help create this because it's large enough and I went ahead and pre-selected all the perler beads I'm going to use. To help make things easier, I'm using a toothpick to help pick up all the beads and as you notice, I stack them all up and just gently place them onto each of the little pegs to form my little character. I started by writing the word milk. As you notice, they are four beads tall and about three beads wide. I just made the letters M-I-L-K that has one space in between all the letters. Once you completed the word milk, I went ahead and filled everything in with a light pink bead. This is going to form my strawberry milk carton, but if you want a different flavor, you should change the colors up. And if this tutorial is going by too quickly for you, you can always print out the patterns online. They have them all over Google. And with a clear pegboard, you can always place patterns underneath to help form your character. As you've noticed, I went ahead and formed a nice little rectangle around my word milk in the colored pink, and I'm forming a slight little triangle upwards to form the top of the milk carton. There should be two rows of pink perler beads above the word milk, and they should get progressively smaller. Once you form those two rows, we're going to form a nice little box on the very top. So all I did was stack three perler beads up, filled it across, and you should have two little rows empty to form the little white part that's on top of the word milk. Then I extended the milk carton down by eight perler beads, and this will form the little body of my milk carton. Go ahead and feel the perler beads across, and once you're done, you are completely done using that colored perler bead. So I'm no longer going to use this pink once I'm done filling it out. I took four black perler beads and put them across in two rows, and I placed two more on top and two more on the bottom to form the eyeball. As you notice, I actually removed one perler bead off center to form the nice little pupil shine on the eyes. I did the same thing on the other side, and all you have to do is fill the little black pupils with a white perler bead and your eyes are done. Of course, all cute projects wouldn't be complete without adding a little bit of blush, so with a darker pink perler bead, I put three little beads on the corner of the eyes and I filled the rest of the carton with a nice white color. So your milk carton is all done, but I wanted to label this as a strawberry milk carton, so I formed a nice little strawberry on the very edge, and I'm going to make this into a three-dimensional milk carton just by sticking the strawberry on top. So here's what everything looks like, and to make everything into a nice solid piece, you're going to have to iron these beads. Most perler bead kits come with a nice little tissue paper to help protect your piece. All you have to do is put a nice little iron on top of your beads, and melt them for about 10 seconds or until your beads fuse together. You should be able to see the beads fuse together. You wanna to make sure you do this on both sides so that your piece becomes a nice solid piece. Let it cool down and you're all done. If you're wondering how I put the strawberry in the corner, I just hot glued it so it looks a little more three-dimensional and I turned mine into a brooch and stuck it on my backpack, but you can use yours for whatever you want. It makes wonderful wall decor and a great gift to a friend. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. For more like these, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram. My username is flyingmeal and I'll be posting more videos soon. Good luck and have fun crafting everyone. Bye!